Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now hands up if you like weeds in the garden. Yeah, didn't think so. So many of you get in touch with me asking for the easiest way to get rid of weeds. Now rather than dousing your lawns and flower beds with vinegar, chemicals and potions with the aim of saving you time, I'm going to show you today how to weed properly. And yes, it involves a little bit of manual labour, but with my top tricks, tips and tools, you're going to be weeding in no time. So come on, let's get cracking. If you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the red subscribe button below, where you'll get access to over 120 garden design hints, tips, snacks. And best of all, it's free, so subscribe today. Now there are three main ways to weed a garden. The first is using chemicals and you spray it onto your land and it kills off weeds. But nine times out of 10, you also injure all sorts of other plants and insects. So we don't like that here at Garden Ninja. The second way is to use a weed burner, which I've shown you before with my really popular weed burning guide. And that's great for paths, patios, or small flower beds where you've got a few weeds. But if you want to get rid of bigger weeds, the third option is to use a weeder. And I'm going to show you today exactly how to do that. So come on, let's get weeding. So before we start weeding, you're going to need a few key bits of equipment. If you're one of those gardeners that are looking for chemicals that you can just spray everywhere and kill off loads of wildlife, then I'm sorry, but this guide is not for you. I'm going to show you that there's a better way to weed. Now, most beginner gardeners would maybe start weeding with this, a hand trowel, but it's the wrong piece of equipment. And the reason for that is, if you're weeding with this, you're actually excavating huge amounts of soil in comparison to the weed. Now, soil is a living organism and we need to treat it really carefully because that's the material that's going to help all of your plants, trees, shrubs and vegetables grow to the finest. And if we go weeding, digging up huge amounts of soil with one of these, we can do more harm than good. So I'm going to show you my top two tools for weeding the garden. Now the first tool is this, the Japanese Hori Hori, and it's super multifunctional. And I tend to use it for deep rooted perennial weeds, the ones with tap roots like dandelions. And you can get in there and simply pop them out with hardly any soil disturbance. So for more deep rooted perennial weeds, the Hori Hori is really useful. If you can see this dock here, which is emerged near this Pakisandra, so taking the Hori Hori, or even a blunt kitchen knife, you can dig in, give it a quick weed, like that. I've heard it pop, so another root's loose, and then, there we go, look at that. It's taken out that entire taproot there, in one action. Soil's left undisturbed, brilliant. And the next bit of kit is this, and it's a little Japanese hand weeder and you can get them in left or right-handed versions. But I'm right-handed, and here it is. And it just means that the head faces in a different direction. Now these are brilliant because you can chip into the base of any weed and basically fling it out. So rather than using the trowel, which is gonna take up loads of space, this gets in there, chip, 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 ping, and out comes the weed. And although you're still gonna to have to get on your hands and knees to weed, it's a much more environmentally friendly way for weeding other than chemicals. So what about annual weeds? Well, annual weeds are the ones that set seed, grow and die all in one season. And they're really easy to deal with compared to perennial weeds, which is what we've been using the two tools on. For annual weeds, I tend to use what's known as an oscillating hoe. It's basically a Dutch hoe, but the head of it moves and it's got kind of a blade on each side. And what you do with the oscillating hoe is every couple of weeks when you see those annual weeds pop up you just rake over the top of them and that cuts them off. It basically starves them and kills them and you don't need to touch the soil. You don't need to do anything with any spades, trowels and it's really easy on your back. It's just this sweep action.
Now a lot of people ask me what can they do with the weeds, should they compost them, put them in the bin and I would say that if you're going to compost weeds you need to make sure that your compost bin is a warm bin, one that gets really hot. If you're composting on a smaller scale don't bother because the chances are those weeds will stay alive in the compost bin or set the seed and then next year you'll spread it out everywhere. So unless the bin's red hot you're not going to be able to kill those weeds. But there is a clever alternative and that is to make weed tea. Now I put all of my weeds in a big bucket or a barrel and then I just fill it with water until it covers them. I then leave it for about three or four weeks and it turns into this really horrible soup, a really manky colour. But the beauty is that the weeds break down and you can steal back all of the nitrogen and nutrients that the weeds are taking from the soil. Sieve it off all that gunk, put it in the bin and then that rich tea you can then use to fertilise your plants. So it's win-win. So there we go, an easy way to make sure that your garden is kept weed free with just a few simple tools, all whilst avoiding using harmful chemicals and toxins that you're going to spray over your garden and no doubt kill off loads of important wildlife. If you've liked this video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell for notifications and check out my channel because there's over 130 garden design hints, tips and hacks to help you make your garden awesome. I've been Garden Ninja, I'm off to do some more weeding, happy gardening.